is Chad from Lotus Comics Press, of course, live with Dalen Welsh from, believe it or not, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Guys, this is an amazing place here. Now, hey, Mr. Dalen, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. Yourself? Oh, really well. Oh, thank you. So tell, tell me a little bit, for the people that obviously watch the TV show and stuff like that, tell me a little bit of the history behind Mr. Ripley. Well, Robert Ripley himself, most people think he would have started out a very rich and wealthy man. Believe it or not, it was simply, he was a simple baseball player. Mm -hmm. And through his travels from baseball playing, he seen like weird and unusual stuff that most people back in that time didn't experience. So through his experience, he, he brought it back first in through, uh, through the form of storytelling. Okay. And of course, okay. most people wouldn't believe it. You know, I back at that time, who did that much traveling? So it's sort of weird for me to believe that, hey, I see. What time frame was that, by the way? Uh, I think Do you know? back during like 1920s, 1930s. Okay. And say so back then, you know, you didn't have too many people going to overseas to see all this weird stuff. So it came back in the form of storytelling. But after that, he started to take pictures and actually bring to life what he would actually see. So from through that, through pictures and comic books, he was able to show the world exactly what others did or yeah. weird things that people quite didn't see every day. Well, as far as, okay, I know we got obviously the Star Trek crew and all of that stuff. And, you know, many more things, like such as Superman, the Three Stooges. So, I mean, how long does, like, say, actually one of these wax figures actually take as far as that, you know, point A all the way to finish? Well, it, it actually depends because each character is made in their own separate way. Mm -hmm. Some characters we have have a standard body, and yeah. all we do is from the chest or torso up. And other characters we actually do from head to toe wax or silicone. Okay. So the, a normal head to toe statue, you're looking about a turnover rate of about three months. Three months? Yes, sir. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's a long, it's a that's long. a long process. Yeah. I mean, and I noticed a couple of the rooms had things as Three Stooges, obviously Superman, the presidential candidates yes, and sir. stuff like that. How has that evolved as far as the, you know, the 1920s all the way up until today as far as your actual Robert Ripley's, believe it or not, museum? Yeah. Most people remember the classic Ripley as really being like, over-the-top weird stuff that none of us ever experienced. That's how I remember it, too, yeah. <laughs> and we, we still touch on that, but, like, now we sort of transition into the thing where we just, we still do the weird and unusual, okay. but we're just recognizing talents that people have that you may not be used to. Like, some of the things you'll see here, not in the wax half, but the Ripley side, are very creative people. Some right. people use their hands, some people use, you know, certain body parts. It's more of a, along the lines of a, I would say, modern day art. Like modern day have, art, okay. You know, we have a guy who's tattooed like a lizard from head to toe. Okay. To some people that would be weird, but in, at the same time, in, in a certain light, it's sort of walking art. You know, right. he actually decorated and designed his body. Such so, as the tallest man that's like 8 foot 11, I believe? Yeah, tall, <laughs> yeah that's, a, that's one of our, uh, our biggest attractions. It's actually an automated robot, and it lets you compare yourself to him as far as height. Once you stand beside him, he mechanically stands up, and it shows you exactly how tall he was in real life. Right. Instead of just hearing like, "Hey, this guy was 811," now you see an actual robot that stands 811, and, and you, you can actually compare. You can it literally too. see that and like, "Wow, you know, that's crazy that someone was that tall." Yeah. yeah. Well, that's pretty amazing. I now I hear some of your new features, or uh, you, you're able to do parties, birthday parties, yes, such yes. and so forth. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, like you were saying earlier, we sort of transitioned from what most people knew as Ripley's. Mm -hmm. Here in Grand Prairie, uh, our Ripley's and Palace of Wax, we really consider this more of a, a family entertainment type of thing. You know, okay. besides coming here, experiencing and seeing things you're not so quite used to, sure. it's very educational. As you walk through, you can see the different reader boards, and it just educates you on celebrities and different time frames in history that we went yeah. throughout throughout but uh, aside from that we have one part of the building that's dedicated to visitors that okay. you can throw actual birthday parties or actually office events as well and this gives you time to actually have that alone time as far as a family or office meeting sure. but still be able to go through and conduct business and just tour the facility what is your favorite part about the actual um, museum itself is it the wax figures or is it actually the kind of the oddities of the the other part of the museum? It'll actually be a little bit of both. I When I first started, I always loved the Ripley's uh, yeah. side because it's just seeing that weird stuff that I was never exposed to or just seeing some out of the ordinary. Okay. But I like the wax due to the simple fact, sort of like a kid in a candy store when you receive that new 
yeah. that new um, that new statue and you're trying to put it up and set out a display that everybody would like and that everybody's uh, coming to see. Sure. So it's, it's really cool. So it's a little bit of both. And as far as your clientele, have they commented on which is their favorite part? Uh, well, we started to upgrade, just to put it out there, we started to upgrade from the traditional way we did statues where we actually used wax to more of a modernized way where we actually deal with silicone. And uh, the uh, customers seem to respond a lot to the silicone because okay. it gives that celebrity and that actor more of a realistic look. And Very aside, cool. aside from that, we also do backgrounds custom to that person depending on the type of movie they were in and different things like that. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Now, as far as far as the establishment, I hear it's uh, the 25th anniversary yes. coming up. Yes, we've been are you excited this, about that? Yeah, it's, it's really cool, man. We've been in this location 25 years, like like um, just proudly, I guess, freaking out people in the neighborhood. Pretty much, we've been here over 25 years, and like I said, in that time, we've really grown ourselves to a family-oriented type of business. Very cool. It's, it's very it's meant for families come out, have fun, tour the facility. You have the birthday party room, and not only the birthday party room, we also focus on groups, and those groups can okay. range. Those groups can range from uh, daycares all the way up to uh, uh, senior living groups. It's just Certainly, it's an all-around kind of focus. Yes, it's all general focus. public kind of kind of facility at this yes, point. Sir. We we cater to everyone from from young to old. It's something that everybody can enjoy. Very cool, very cool. Well, I, I really appreciate you being on the show, and again. I, my favorite part of the whole exhibit, guys, is probably the wax part of the wax museum issue part of the actual museum, which takes up pretty much half the building. I mean, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Welsh here showed me around, and they're very customer friendly, guys. Again, come come check us out at LotusComics.com. If you want any information, we'll provide some information for you during the interview, as well as after. So, if there's anything you guys need, come see us at LotusComics.com, and we'll see you here next time. Thank you, Mr. Welsh. Oh, no problem. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.